Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with yet another story of questionable spending by a Canadian senator. Noel Kinsella, a conservative from New Brunswick, was appointed to the Senate in 1990 by Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. Kinsella is a staunch Roman Catholic and as such has made it his mission to keep up relations with the Vatican in Rome. So concerned is he with those relations that he and his wife travel there frequently. Our Mike LeCouture asked what taxpayers are getting out of those trips. For many Catholics, a pilgrimage to the Vatican is a once-in-a-lifetime event. But for the Speaker of Canada's Senate, it's much more frequent than that. Global News has learned in the last seven years, Noel Kinsella has taken five taxpayer-funded trips to the Holy City, often accompanied by his wife. For one of those trips, Kinsella was part of Canada's delegation to attend the canonization of Brother Andre. Another time, he met Pope Francis. When asked why the Speaker makes so many trips to the Vatican, his office responded, it's about keeping good relations with the Holy See, saying, quote, Canada is the beneficiary of the knowledge and contacts that the Vatican has as a result of its extraordinary reach into all parts of the world. Still, Kinsella's connection to the Vatican isn't just diplomatic. The senator was educated at the Pontifical Lateran University in Rome. I'm scratching my head to know how Canadians benefit from Senator Kinsella going to check out the Caravaggios at, the, at St. Peter's Basilica. <laughs> Angus points out we already have a chargé d'affaires at the Vatican and he wonders why Kinsella feels the need to build bridges with the Holy See. Well, I'd like to see what he does with all this information back in Canada. Is he, is he organizer? Like, self-styled ambassador should be able to produce some evidence he's giving us some value for our dollar. It's expensive to go there. Senator Kinsella does write a report about who he met and what he did, and those are published online. But it is worth noting, when the speakers of the Senate or House of Commons travel, they approve each other's budgets. Kinsella's trips to the Vatican often include stops in other countries, and the bill for four such trips was $255,000. Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird thinks it's money well spent. I think Senator Kinsella, as the Speaker of our Upper House, uh, has uh, you know, been a, a good interlocutor between Canada uh, and, uh, and the Vatican, and we certainly appreciate his, uh, his work in that regard. Now, the Speaker of the Senate is fourth on the list of official protocol behind the Governor General, Prime Minister, and Chief Justice. As such, the rules state that his wife's travel on these types of trips is covered by the taxpayer. Robin? Mike LeCouture in Ottawa. Thanks, Mike.